all right what is happening everyone so i promise you guys that i'll make a video on my settings for halo infinite and this is good for pc and for xbox so we're gonna get right into it first and foremost we're gonna go with the settings for the controller so i recommend default for both of these but you could change it up if you're used to something different vibration 100 percent off you don't want everything to be vibrating around town for you when you're trying to aim okay so you want vibration off so your controller is more stable when you're trying to aim now, all this stuff is kind of optional, but there are a few important things about it. Inverting to flight, I have it off. Default is on. I like it off, so when I pull this stick back, it goes down. Push the right stick forward, and it goes up. Hold to zoom 100%. You don't want to be doing two motions, clicking it on and clicking it off. Just holding it and letting go is way better for zooming. Hold to sprint. You do not want that on, but you do want maintaining sprint. So certain actions you do when you're sprinting, it won't break or hinder your sprint. Auto clamber, turn that off. Basically, when you're jumping down from a, from a high ledge or something, and let's say you want to go to the very bottom and you don't want to grab in between ledge, it's going to do that with auto clamber on. So you want auto clamber off. Step jump, I like it on. It's up to you, um, but it, it just kind of adjusts when you're when you're when you're jumping to go to the proper level of whatever platform you're you're jumping to. So look acceleration, I like it at five. When you put it low here, at, which is default, and the, and you're trying to turn, it's like it's like slow and speeds up. I like the acceleration as fast as possible. Therefore, I don't notice that 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 difference between the slow and the fast. I mean, I like FPSs and first first person shooters. I like them when they are super fast as much as possible. When you're looking, I don't like, I don't like I don't like that slowdown. Look sensitivity. I like it default um, at five. Actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is default. So I like this at five, and I recommend putting it at five because this is gives a good balance between stability and also speed for turning on guys you want to be able to turn on guys and if it's too slow you can't really turn on them so i recommend putting it up zoom level i like to put it at 0. 0.7 okay and you'll see here that i put these at 0. 0.7 and these at 0. 0.5 so the higher zoom is actually a little bit slower because when because the higher zoom you want it to be a little slower so you get more precise accuracy 1.4.7 to me works but here's the thing when you change the fov which i'll show you in a second that will affect this a little bit the bigger the fov the faster you're moving so you might want to bring this down even lower if you have a low fov you might want to bring this up a little bit so and these i don't touch any of these it's all default and i don't touch any of this it's all default now i don't play keyboard or mouse so i'm sorry keyboard or mouse players so field of view i like 105 100% 105 is most comfortable, but Halo is kind of weird where if you put it at, watch this, I'm going to put it at 105, I'm going to back out, go back into it, and it changed to 104. So to get 105, I actually, actually have to put it one up, go back to it, and now it goes 105. I don't know, it's kind of weird. This is my graphics card, this is my monitor, borderless, that's only if you have two monitors so you can move the mouse back and forth between both screens. You do not need borderless if you're only playing with one screen. Resolution, I play 1440p. 100% resolution, I recommend all the time, no matter what resolution you're playing on, put it on the, the native resolution of your display. Now, this part is very important for PC, 100% very important and something that people actually overlook. You might notice some stuttering when you're playing on PC and with your frames if you're playing over 60 FPS. Now, if you're playing 60 FPS, I do recommend putting this, um, leaving this like that and V-Sync, check, check. And then for playing above 60 FPS, I recommend putting this to off and unlocking the max frames. What this means is you're not using the game's FPS limiter, which actually creates this really weird stutter that you may have noticed for a PC. This is a huge thing, huge. I cannot stress this enough for PC. It is very important. Now, by doing this though, you do have to go, you do have to go, I'm gonna show you right here. You do have to go to the NVIDIA control panel, okay? The NVIDIA control panel is extremely important. Why? Well, there we go. Because this is what you're going to do. You're going to open up the NVIDIA control panel. You're going to click, click manage 3D settings, okay? Okay, I clicked it. Give it a second. Okay. Now, you're going to go all the way down here to where you see max frame rate. My monitor is a 165 hertz monitor. Therefore, 
I can't get any more than 165 frames. I'm going to put five less just to be safe so I don't get any screen tearing. And I change this. You could customize it by clicking it. You could type in whatever you want there. I change it to 160. Therefore, I'm never going over my screen's refresh refresh rates to monitor. My, my GPU is pretty powerful, my PC, where I can get more than 165 frames sometimes, like around 175 or so. So I recommend setting this and then you click apply, which will be here at the bottom if you changed it. G-Sync, you want it on 100%. These are very important. I can stress this enough. If you do not do this and lock your frames on your NVIDIA card end, and you don't lock your frames, then the game, and you lock the frames in the game, it's going to be very jittery and messed up. So you definitely want to lock the game on the NVIDIA graphics card and not in the game. I repeat, lock your frames on the NVIDIA graphics card and not using the game's limiter. If you play other games like Warzone, you could use the game's limiter, limiter, it's fine. But for some reason, this game is bugged using the PC limiter that it has built in the settings. Now, my graphics are a little bit different than maybe some. I want to get the best advantage and this is for pure performance. If you want a great look, just go to ultra or high. You're done, you're set. But if you want high frames, I recommend doing this 100% because you're gonna get great performance based off what your graphics card is capable of the highest possible, okay? You wanna get frames. More frames means more gun battles being won. So anti-aliasing, that is low. That's basically it smooths out a lot of stuff. You don't need it for this game, really. Aliasing is not crazy in general anti-aliasing low is fine texture low 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 texture quality textures are huge changing this right here requires a lot more vram which is your your gpus um video ram and i'm telling you you need it low if you want to get good frames reflections off you don't need reflections what do you need that for you're playing competitively right Vo volumetric fog quality i don't want fog forget that uh clouds low dynamic wind i don't want that i do not want it Animation quality, it's either auto or max. I put an auto. Terrain quality low. Flocking quality, I don't want to see birds while I'm playing Halo and trying to shoot people. I want that stuff off. Turn that off. Uh, I think compute, you only need that. Blur, off. Screen shake, off. Exposure, off. Full screen effects, off. Turn that off. Speed lines, when you're running around, you see these little lines behind you, turn that off. Sharpening, you can leave it in default. All right, audio. I like my main 10, 10 music and menu music, seven. I love the music in Halo, but I don't want it too loud. I want me to talk to my friends, talk to you guys. Uh, this is default right here. And then here's something that people don't really realize. This stuff is all default. I don't touch any of it. Um, this is based off what you're using for your PC, for your mic. So this is my mic I use for the headset because I don't want to use my mic for recording and streaming um, for the game, game chat. Now, for some reason, this, I believe, is set to disable or push talk when you first play the game. This is why when you're playing Halo and a lot of people aren't talking to you, well, there's a reason why they're not talking to you. They don't even know that, they, that it is not set the proper way. I don't know why it's not set to open mic. It should be set to open mic. This is why people aren't talking in the Halo half the time because no one knows that the setting's off. And they don't care about talking to other people. It drives me nuts. But anyways, fire team at lobby chat, you want that on. Match chat on. You could read what these are. It's up to you if you want to talk to other people or not. Strangers, if you play by yourself, you could turn them both off. Totally up to you. Spartan chatter, I don't like when there's like these little automatic call out stuff by the Spartans. It's kind of annoying. So I turn that stuff off. Um, incoming voice chat volume, I put it to seven. Okay, UI. This is very, very important. I leave this stuff on default. I turn this stuff off. I don't I don't want text chat. And tips and tutorials, I want this stuff off. Is this right here, horizontal display margin, very important. Okay, so you have on top, you have your little bar, right? For your health and your your your, your um, shield. And then below, you have your uh, guns, right? Your gun and ammo. And then you have your mini map. How close it is to the center of the screen, okay? So you can put it really close to the center of the screen or you can put it really far away. So on default, it's really far away. So when you're playing, okay, you're looking like all the way down, you know, to the, 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 the corners of your monitor. But... If you're if you put it closer like this I'm trying to do this backwards over here there we go if you put the gun and the mini map closer so you know you have the scoreboard right you have the, the little like if you're playing slayer it tells you the score right there that you could you could put your gun and your ammo and your grenades and you put your mini map which is so important to look at right here next to you down below so therefore when you're playing instead of looking like so down like this the corners you're looking just straight down like that right straight down so it's way closer. I recommend it. I like 45. That's a that's a sweet spot for me. You may not like 45. You may like like it to be closer, but you don't want it too close to the, the little uh, the, the score going on in the middle of the game, right? Where it shows each team. Um, 
you also don't want it too far. If you're playing on TV, 100% this is so important because you're not looking on the 70-inch TV, looking way over there, looking at your mini-map, right? Like you're playing, you're looking so far. Now you just look down really fast. So it's so important. Horizontal display margin, so important. Scoreboard, I like to just hold the button and then when I release, it goes away. You can also set the tap if you want. So you press it, the scoreboard shows, press it again, so it doesn't show. FPS counter, you only have this for PC, not for console. Network statistics, I like to see my MS just in case if there's an issue with my game or with my network. Um, here, colors. So, <clears throat> I like um, the default colors, but a lot of people like to change the enemy to uh, sunshine or pineapple. This makes them bright yellow. I don't like it. I think I, could, I feel like I should see just fine with the red. Up to if you want to do it. Turn off showing any names. You don't see need to see their names. Um, turn on your friends' names if you want. I think it's it's helpful to know um, to see. And then gamer tag. I put gamer tag on. And then this stuff. I leave it all on. You don't need to turn it off. And everything else, I believe, is default. Everything else is default. Accessibility. I mean, this stuff kind of stuff we went through in the other section. Yeah, it's basically all it's basically all there. So that's basically it, everyone. That those are my Halo Infinite settings. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was detailed enough for you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. Um, come join me on my streams. Um, if you have a question, you could type in the live chat. I can answer right away for you. Um, I stream Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Usually around 8.30 to like 12.30, 1.30 Eastern time. I might start at 7.30 sometimes. I might end at 2.30. We'll see. I will sometimes schedule my streams. If I'm going to be streaming, I'll put a schedule up so you see it like 5, 10 hours before I actually come up to stream. Sometimes I might just show up. Um, but Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you will see me. So come check me out. And hey, I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.